What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Mega Man X4. Today, we take uh, the weapon from Magma Dragoon, the Ryun Gene, and apply it to Snowface. Frost Walrus! Now, at the outset, there's a, a little bit of a split path here. You can go up here. And this is a very useful area that we're going to be coming back to in the future. There's a bunch of health ups. There's a one up there. And if we come down here, there's a one up here as well. And if you just kind of do that path up there, it's really good to fill up all your sub-tanks and get some 1-ups. We don't really need to worry about that at the moment, but it's there. Now down here is the path that you're most likely to take. See, it just kind of... Let's see if I can... Okay, so that's another thing I was going to point at. Those platforms... If one of them, they, they randomly kind of appear, and one of them appears on top of you, you kind of die. Okay, so anyways. Kill these things. The, uh, Raijin Geki is good to uh, take the snow thingies, the big yetis out from a distance. Use the Ryun Gene to break that block of ice, and we get a heart tank up there. I guess they're not really yetis so much as just, like, robots. Make our way up here. Wanna grab that one up. Mine the spikes. Now, this part here... You don't really want to take time to too much time dealing with those guys because, as you can see, the path kind of dissolves behind you, and then you fall on spikes and die. If you really need to, though, you can always go back and get the one-ups because they come back every time you die, of course. Okay, once you get over that hump, you're good. There's a little thing up there, which is usually a pain in the butt to get, but I managed to do it on my first try. That is called an... I think it's called the X-Tank. That makes you, if you die and have to, like, lose all your lives and have to continue, it makes you come back with four lives instead of the normal two. Which is handy. There's nothing up there, is there? Oh, there's a health thing. Might as well fill up the sub-tank. Okay, so here I want to wait for the platform to go up. Mind I don't get squished against the top there. And I want to kind of try and stick to the right as much as I can. Obviously we have to go down. Try not to stand... There. <laughs> okay, not having a whole lot of luck with the instant death mechanics on this level. But at least I'm demonstrating what not to do. Make our way back down here. Mind that you don't fall down the pit of death. And here we have a mini boss. And despite what you might think, considering he is made entirely of ice, it's actually, I find, a lot more effective to, to use the Kuenzon than it is to use uh, Ryunjin. See how much damage I did there? Mind the falling icicles. And 
and try not to get hit by him when he's bouncing around like that. He can be a pain, but really, you don't have to worry too much about taking damage in this level. More, if anything's going to kill you, it's probably going to be the instant death mechanics. So now here, I want to try and be kind of selective a little bit with what ice blocks I destroy. Because I want to make my way to... The okay, so it doesn't matter quite here. It starts mattering up here. Because... I want to kind of make my way along the top here. Eventually the path diverges a bit. See there's this little platform up here. And uh, there's another path down below. So I want to stay high. Because there's an item right there. That is the only weapon tank in the game. Now it works the same as a sub tank, except it fills up with weapon energy. Not the most useful for Zero, since the only uh, attack he has that uses weapon energy is Raku Hau Ha. Kill the bird! There's a little bird that here that'll try and turn the area into ice. I'll let this one go, just for demonstration for all purposes. It does make the enemies easier to kill, since they just kind of sit there frozen. But of course, ice is slippery, and slippery things are annoying. Mind you, don't fall down the pit. Not dying is certainly more important than killing the bird. Although, the, with everything icy, that, that particular area right there can be kind of dangerous. Lots of pits you can accidentally slip into. And here we have Frost Walrus! Now how hard this guy is depends a lot on how aggressive you want to be. Okay then. So, hit him with the Ryun Gene, and they'll knock him back and he'll start like, sliding after you. If you're on a wall when he's sliding at you, um, it'll actually knock you down. Like, it, I'll try and demonstrate it. Okay, that was a bad demonstration. If When he knocks into the opposing wall, it'll knock you down. See, I fell down there. What I usually like to do is try and make it go a little bit faster by, like, getting some hits in while he's sliding across and stuff. You're probably going to take more damage if you're not careful, but... Got a couple hits in there. Just uh, dash over the other side of the area to avoid that big icicle. But really, this guy's not that hard, even without the re gene, if you're just careful. Um, if you're if you're good with the Kuen Zone, you can hit him and kind of uh, like jump up and hit him, and then turn and fall in the other direction pretty quickly, easily. You're up, Suzanne. Which is a kind of useless attack, honestly. Now, I'm gonna try and do the Marine Base. It's a short level, it's a very short level, but it's also easily the most annoying level in the entire game. Jet Stingray! So, the gimmick in this level is we have a Ride Chaser. So, start off just by shooting to kind of get rid of these guys. And. Oop, jump over the mines. 
dash so I don't hit those mines. Stay in the middle. Dodge that jumping guy. Now I don't want to jump there. Got a hard tank by kind of falling under that platform. Okay. Jump over these bridges because they're mines. Now here's the hard part. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck! I got stuck. Okay. Well, I'll take uh, the time to kind of show off some stuff a little bit better this time then. Jump over the mines, I failed, but at least I didn't explode. Dash over those mines, even though I hit the mines and they exploded anyways. Jump over the first gap after those mines, and then fall off the second one, and that's where the hard tank is. Okay, so these bridges are rigged to explode, which will do damage. You can jump... You can jump over the bridges and fall down the gaps and die. It's more important that you don't fall off the gaps. You're not likely to take enough damage to actually die in this area. So, I, don't worry too much about the exploding bridges. It's a lot more important that you actually live. Fall down. You don't have to do that every time, obviously, once you get the hard tank, but... I like to just for practice sake. Okay, and after the second set of exploding bridges, this is the hard jump. No, I did it again! Luckily, if you run out of lives, then you start exactly where you were before. Although, if you only have like one or two lives, um, and you do get to the next area, you probably want to try and manipulate it so that you get to the next area with as many lives as you can, because then, of course, if you have to continue and you're on the second stage, you come back to this first stage. If that makes any sense. I don't know how coherent I am while trying to drive a ride chaser. Okay, I'm just gonna stop trying to jump over the second bridge there. Okay, jump over the bombs. Dash over those ones. Stay in the middle, since there's a guy jumping over me. Jump over the gap. Fall down. Jump through the gap. Jump over the bridges. Don't care about these ones. Hard jump. Don't get stuck. Oh my god! What the heck? I was pressing the jump button. Oh my god, that jump is so annoying. Got it this time. Right, zero? Okay, come on. I'm dead. I don't know how I even died that time, like... It's, it's weird, it's like I just get trapped in there or something and I just can't jump. I screwed up the timing a little bit on that one. I was trying to time it so that I did the dash earlier, so I landed, I could land earlier in front of the pit where I keep dying, but I screwed that up. Pressing jump? Why were you not jumping? Okay, so I've only got zero life left, so I'm just gonna sacrifice myself this time, since even if I do make it through to the next stage, well, I am probably gonna die at least once anyways. I said I'm gonna sacrifice myself 
can die any time. Thank you. Okay, we got it this time. If I keep saying that, eventually it'll be true. Why your vehicle stage is always the most annoying? Okay, second set. Now, go! Come on. Yeah! No! Oh my god! Well, at least I sort of know how to make that first jump now. I, now I just have to not get caught on, like, little ledge things. Okay, that's about enough for now. Will I actually be able to get past the stupid freaking ride chaser levels next time on Let's Play Mega Man X4? Well, find out next time on Let's Play Mega Man X4.